Hello again, welcome uh, to another video. Uh, I've had a subscriber ask me for a game room tour. Now I've already done one, but it was it wasn't literally my first video. It was a bit of a kind of Blair Witch style shaking all over the shop, so I thought I'd do another one. So you know, with that said, let's go. So I'll start here. So start at my door. That's my door when you come in, which is greeted by Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator poster. Pretty cool. I've got some vinyls up there. Got the Chili Peppers, Californication, Shemu Free soundtrack, Sonic Frontier soundtrack, Abbey Road. Right, so let's start here. So the box consoles on top of this uh, basically rest pan back. I've got like a display cabinet I've done. But if I do go at the top first, I've got a box X Spectrum, a box PlayStation 2, all in there complete. Got the new uh, Atari 400 Mini. I've got a boxed, I get there, so that's the glare. I've got some of them in plastic uh, protectors. So I boxed the uh, Sega CD2, but it's the tech toy, tech toy one, Br Brazilian. Uh, yeah, so I've got a uh, master, uh, I said base converter. I've got a boxed Atari Jaguar. I've got a Lynx plug, iToy Play, uh, boxed Nintendo 64. Uh, Jaguar controller box that's empty though. Uh, Atari Lynx model one that's all in there. I've got a box NES there. So, right, so pan down to you know, I've got like a little display cabinet <clears throat> just a few consoles in. They all they all work, yeah, they all work. Yeah, so I've got a uh, game, Sega Game Gear with a TV tuner, I've got a uh, modded Game Boy which has got the original screen. The only thing modded on it is a shell, basically, in the, sc in the screen, but it's got original dot matrix screen. Time Links 2, that's all been recapped, that works. Uh, Sega Saturn, so I've got that glare from my lights here. Sega Saturn, uh, Game Boy, DMG Game Boy, Philips CDI, so more glare, go that way. Uh, Super Nintendo there, that's been recapped, so that works. Yeah, and the Philips CDI works, it's the, uh, there's a chip in there with a battery in it that you have to cut the chip up halfway, get the battery out, and then it works fine. So it's the timekeeping battery. Yeah, it messes the whole thing up if you then get it out. Uh, yeah, so we've got another uh, Sega Mega Drive 2 and a Mega CD 2. Got a Game Boy Pocket just in the background. A uh, PlayStation 1 and a uh, Mega Drive with a uh, base converter on top. Super Scope. And I've got a few of me things I made when I was a, an apprentice. Some, you know, marking gauge. I've got a jack plane and a little smoothing plane, all made out of oak and pine and stuff. Right, so <clears throat> then here's all my loose games basically. So I've got a little selection of loose NES games. This side is my loose PAL games. This side is me Super Famicom games, all the way up here. In the middle is loose Nintendo 64 games. Which I'm not going to go about that. I do that's a separate video. That's all my Game Gear games, all loose. And at the bottom here, I've got loose Atari Jaguar games, and then Game Boy games. Right, so we go up here. So I've got this is basically my, my PlayStation shelf. So I've got PS4 at the top, PlayStation One, PlayStation Five, PlayStation Three, and PlayStation Two. And then over at the bottom, I've got Xbox 360 and Xbox. So start up here. I've got Watch Dogs. Two that is for PlayStation 4. Senran Kagura, PlayStation 4. Steins Gate, great game. Uh, what's that? ReZero. Well, so that's pretty good as well. Then I've got uh, Persona 3 Reload Collectors. Persona 5 Royal Collectors. Got the box for a PlayStation 5. Got Ryo Hazuki just sitting there. And then that's all my PlayStation 4 games. We're going to do a separate video on these, show you them all, but I'll just pan quickly across. The bottom one's double stacked, or PS4. And I've got uh, Catherine full body there. And all my PlayStation 1 games at the back, which I'll do a... Uh, I ain't got many PlayStation 1 games, but I'll do a little video on them. I've got a statue of Kazuma, Kiru. Uh, PlayStation Mini there, which I did a mini video, and I think I forgot about that one. But uh, yeah, so um, that is my little that is my little PlayStation 5 uh, collection so far. So I'm not, you know, quite new to that now. And then I've got my PlayStation 3 games. I've done a video on these. That's double stacked. Uh, PS2. 
that's all double stacked as well and then obviously the xbox 360 and xbox so i just pan out again that's that shelf there down like that and just here i've got neo geo cd in a uh, homemade cases uh that's all my C philips cdr games zoom in there i've already done a video on them showing you them uh then i've got my japanese satin games mega cd games and uh, what's that super cd rom games that's raiden that is <clears throat> good game and i've got a shelf above it all come back here shelf so i've got sean bean sharp's got some dvds smallville alien a rebel cop star wars monkey i used to love that and then these up here these are reproduction saturn games so these are all reproduction saturn games i'll just pan up across them reproduction sega cd and reproduction uh turbo graphics uh, cd so there that's basically a little reproduction bit up there keep them separate and i they're all in dvd cases so you know uh <coughs> he-man oh yeah i've got a uh, legend of a uh, so Avatar, The Last Airbender, Legend of Aang, uh, Thundercats, box set, great. And that, this is my little, while playing PS5, is on this telly. And I've got a few consoles and a little uh, unit I made, <coughs> I don't know, probably 15 years ago now, this unit. Pippi, Pippi Oak, this was, what I made out of it, all veneered and everything. Uh, so on here, I've got an old laptop. I've got a Mega CD, uh, which I'm... I've repaired, it works. I'm just waiting for a laser to come from AliExpress. It's a uh, Optima 5 laser. I'll put that in and hopefully it reads this. Uh, <clears throat> that's the game I'm playing at the minute. On PlayStation 5. Can't pronounce it, but it's pretty good. I won't show you that because that's for the upcoming video. That's my PlayStation 5. And then underneath here, I've got, at the bottom, I won't get everything out, but I've got all my Dreamcast games. Let's move that out of the way. Dreamcast games are from there, all the way across. And to the front here, Dreamcast, Shemus and you know, Capcom vs SNK, great game, love that game. Alpha 3, love that game. And I've got a few more Mega CD games there. And then I've got all my Mega CD games at the back of this unit as well. At the top there, look. And then it goes to all my legit Saturn games. I ain't got many legit. I've sold a loads ages ago. Wish I never did. Uh, Saturn games. Then that's all, this stack here is all... Uh, Sega Dreamcast demos from magazines, and that's all demos. So yeah, there's some Japanese sat in there. And then just here, <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice now. Just here I've got a, uh, an Oak Mega Drive, Mega Drive 2 that I made. So it's a Mega Drive motherboard, and I've routed out the shape of the motherboard inside internally to make uh, basically an Oak. Let's just move this out for you, I'll show you. Yeah, so it's all in there, look. See it, it all works. I just pop mass system game in just for effect. It power it on it, it works and everything. And then I've got like a modded uh, Game Gear. I've done the Joker one. Which is, I like this one. It's really nice. Yeah, okay. on the back look. Why so serious look? Yeah, so, so these, I do like this one. It's my favourite Game Gear. Yeah, and then just here I've got me another Philips CDI that I use. The Switch. PS2 under there. And me, uh, another Atari Jaguar that I use. That one's all plugged in, ready to go. <coughs> so that's my little, in my games room, my little uh, PlayStation. Well, my area where I play my games. I don't say PlayStation, but you know. Yeah, so a few in there. No, I think the main thing I use is the PlayStation 5 now. Not so much the Switch anymore. All right, so I move up and over. So we've done, done that bit there. Done all that. Done that. And then here... Just below the shelf where my DVDs and repros are. I've got a box Vita. Then these are all my Vita games. Try and get it so it's not in the light. There you go, that's better. All my Vita games. Hand down. I love the Vita. I prefer the Vita to the Switch, to be honest with you. Yeah, some really nice games in there. Some Japanese ones, because they're cheaper as well. Right, so move the right to the side of that. I've got music CDs in a little stack. Got some more vinyls. Golden Axe. Space have you? Then up here I've got some more collector's editions. So I've got all my Switch ones, you know, Xenoblade, Final Vendetta, Link's Awakening. That's PlayStation 5, e Ace 8, uh, Danganronpa collection at the top back, Bayonetta 3, 
that's PlayStation 4 East 9. Shamu 3 collectors. Uh, yeah, I've, got, I've even got a boxed uh, Kung Fu for the Atari Lynx. Never been opened. It's in the blister pack. Johnny Silverhand. Great character. It, that'll make a fantastic film, won't it? His character. Right, yeah, then down here, got a, a fake Tiffany lamp for effect. Uh, Menacer. Uh, my uh, old PS4. Still works in there. I love that, love that machine. Uh, Super Scope 6. Uh, Skyward Sword, Alan Wake Collectors. Then uh, in these drawers, I've got like a little bureau thing. And then these, are, they're just every drawer, it's just literally full. I'll show you. Full of DVDs, look, pull back. Full of DVDs, look, Hellboy, Beetlejuice, Blazing Saddles, you know, or, you know. It's all in there. So that's three drawers full of all my DVDs. All right, so I've done that area. Down there. And then I've got... Uh, Neo Geo, well, a little shelving area next to my where the curtains are in the in the room. So I've got Neo Geo, sorry, Neo Geo Mini, Neo Geo X Gold Limited Edition. That's a really good machine. I don't know if anyone else has got that, but the plastic on the back of the handheld unit goes really sticky. I've had to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I don't know, that's a flaw in, must be a flaw in the plastic. All right, and then I've got a little Persona shelf. So Persona Three, Four. Got Persona 4 Golden for the Switch, uh, Persona 3 Portable. Yeah, in the back I've got uh, Persona 4 for PS2, and then I've got Persona 3. Not the not the FES one. I'm looking out for that, but it's so expensive. Come down a shelf. I've got some minis, NES mini. I've got Nino Cooney Collector's Edition for PlayStation 3, uh, Super Nintendo mini. And then I've got all my uh, Legend Heroes. So Legend uh, Heroes: Trails from Zero, Trails to Asia. Trails into Reverie. Let me turn that light off a second. Is it probably see it, see it better? Yeah, Trails into Reverie. Uh, Neyuta. Uh, and that's the Trails of Cold Legends. That's Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 in one collector's, that one is. Really nice, that is. I do, I, I do like that. It's probably my third favourite game, that is. Let me just turn that light on again. All right, there you go. More minutes. Yep. So... Done that, just do a little slow pan around. I mean, this is this is a few years of collecting now. This is bit by bit, and before you know it, it does build up as you can see. All right, so they go here. That's my settees. I've got a little uh, Dexter thing down there. I've got Sega magazines down there, more music uh, CDs, but I've got my little uh, stereo stack, Nirvana, Yakuza Zero, Shemu soundtrack. Then I've got a selection of a little coffee table in the middle. So I've got underneath <coughs> the hard drive, the uh, HDD, sorry, HD DVD player for 360, the 360 Elite, and a free, another 360. NES, NES cases there, I've got some Mega Drive cases there, spare ones. And I've done a video on these little containers I emptied. And then everyone's got these as well, things with loads of cables in. Little coffee table. All right, so then, then I've got this wall here. So I'll just do a little pan of that from outside. A bit further off. So it's all that there. And come down. I've got a little shelving unit there with miscellaneous stuff in. So what we'll do is we'll start at the top. So I've got a boxed Mega Drive. And then at the top, that's the, C that's, that's the CDX Pro, wasn't it? I think that's for imports. Playing on your Mega CD. I've got a box game gear on there complete. A box Mega CD complete. Uh, nice condition that box is. Uh, keyboard, Dreamcast keyboard. That that Mega CD box took me ages. I was looking for years. It must be five years for a box at a good price. Just the box. And I look and I found one on eBay. Uh, yeah. So then I've got a Mega CD two boxed. Uh, at the back of all that, I've got a. I don't know if you can see it. A Mega Drive two boxed. Then I've got another uh, game Game Gear box, different variant box, uh, Game Boy boxed, DS boxed. That has got the Metroid uh, Hunters in it, Prime Hunters as well. PSP boxed, Sega Saturn boxed, and they've all got, as you can tell by the glare, they've all got uh, box protectors on to keep them keep them nice. Uh, Dreamcast controller. I've got a vibration pack at the top. Uh, get here. 
Sega Dreamcast boxed. Uh, another Mega Drive box. I like this one because it's got Sonic on it. It's probably my favourite um, variant of the box, to be honest with you. I've got a Mega Drive 32X. Game Gear Master Gear Converter by Retro 6. Really good if you want to get one from Retro 6. Pretty good price. So it's new tech. New old tech, I suppose. Uh, memory card and a... What is that? Can't remember what that is. Oh, it's a pseudo Saturn. So when I had my before I had my Polymega, because my Polymega's in me, I've got a, like an arcade cabin I made. The Polymega's in there and that does all my old stuff now. All right, so that's the top shelf done. Just a quick pan of that. Sorry about the glare. And then if we do this now, the next shelf down is all my Mega Drive games. Go slowly across, try not to get the glare. Some nice titles there. I ain't got loads. That's a newish one I got, El Vito. El Viento, sorry. Uh, great game that is. I love that. I always like that game. Try not to get the glare if I can. It's hard not to. Let's go this way now. Look here. All my Mega Drive games. My 32X games. And their Mass System games. All there, look. And then there's some Mass System games slotted at the top as well. I'll right, go next shelf down. That's all my Tiger Jaguar games. Then it goes Wii. I'm sorry, nice titles there. GameCube. Some on top as well. I used to have loads of GameCube, but you, 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 know, you sell them and you, you regret it in the end, don't you? Uh, yeah, Wii U. Then I've got, there it comes to my boxed, boxed NES games. Which is finishes there, my box I've left space for expansion as you as you do. And then I've got from here my box Super Nintendo games. Across there, my Super Nintendo games go up to here, up to that Japanese uh, Super Mario World, and then some more on top. That's Super Mario World, but someone has pulled the end off that one. And then there's my boxed uh, Nintendo 64 games. Across there. And a Xeno Crisis for the N64. Really good on the N64. Sorry, but I've got everything in cases. And I've got uh, Neyuto, Legend of Neyuto, PSP, and then all my PSP games. All there. And then it'll go into the UMDs at the end and some on top. Oh. Game Boy games, boxed. Game Gear games. Now we've got a Wii. There's me Atari Lynx games. And here are my Switch games on these shelves. I, I, I mean, I'd always do my shelves on these tonk, you call them tonk strips or twin slots shelving because uh, they're just so versatile. We are back to that's all on the Switch. And then I've got a very small collection of DS. I wasn't really into the DS much, but they're all the games I had for the DS. With some new additions for 3DS, which I haven't got a 3DS. My, my lads have, but I haven't. Right, and then I've got a little shelving. Let me come back a bit. So that's all that done. Come back a bit. So that's all that shelving. All takes up all one wall. And then this is a little shelving unit here. So at the back, I've got a box Wii at the back. I've got another box Dreamcast, because I love that machine. A ZX Spectrum Plus. A PlayStation 3 Slim. Xbox. OG Xbox boxed. That's a Nintendo 64 in there. That's I used to have that in my cabin, but now my Polymega's in there, so I've got that boxed up in there now, just so I know what it is. Uh, <clears throat> Lethal Enforcers, GameCube, Super Nintendo box there, but not an the original box, obviously. That was in my cabin as well now, uh, as well. But the Polymega I got does Super Nintendo as well now, so don't need it in there now. So it's here. Uh, I've got a jigsaw, because this is how much of a suck I am for Legend of Heroes. I've even got a couple of jigsaws, which are just sealed from a NIS Europe. Right, and then I've got a box Sega Master System 2. I've got the light phaser. I've got a boxed Zelda limited edition Wii U. I've got another jigsaw there for Legend of Heroes. I've got a boxed RK Power Stick. Uh, Mega Drive, then I've got another Mega CD there, Mega CD one, for Mega Drive, 
Then I've got a boxed satin that used to be in my cabin. Now, because I've got a polymer, I don't need it in there, so I've boxed it up in here. Uh, what's under there? PlayStation 2 and the uh, mass system, Model 1. Uh, what's this? Yep, so then I've got Xbox 360 at the bottom, then a Mega Drive 2 and a Mega CD 2. Let's put that back. Yes, yeah, so that's all spare consoles in there. And then games, the game shelf and consoles at the top. Vinyls, more box consoles, which I did first. Little display case. Loose games, PlayStation shelves. They tripped over my coffee table then. Some DVDs, repros. Vita. And that's the consoles I kind of use a lot of, really. PlayStation 5 mainly. And some bits and bobs over there. And a bureau full of DVDs. So I hope you enjoyed the game room tour. Uh, and I think I'll do a, an updated one on my retro cabin as well. And we'll show you how, you know, where the polymega sits and everything like that. Okay. Hope you liked it. See you on the next one.